hi everybody welcome back to my channel so I did a video on how to tie your flood descent scarf like a pro and y'all loved it and I did say in that video if y'all did want to see some some funner more updated ways like bows and flowers and all sorts of frilly stuff then go ahead and let me know and y'all wanted it so I decided to do a little mini series in the first video if you have not seen it it's kind of five standard ways to tie your scarf really easy basic ways for a beginner tire so in in this video I want to show you some more updated ways some more girly frilly ways to tie your scarf so if you're interested let's get started okay so for the first way that I'm going to show you it is going to be a bow tie so for this way I don't know if y'all remember but I showed you that you can start so if this is your scarf you can start by folding it over one time so it looks like this and then fold it over one more time so it looks like this with like a thin crisp way on this one you can start it like this or you can kind of just throw it over it's absolutely your choice on how you want that band to go so for me I am just gonna kind of drape it on over so to start with you'll put it on your neck and then put it above your collar directly onto your neck so to begin with you kind of want to make sure that the ends are pretty even so you're gonna take it and tie it around one time and then again check your ends and make sure your ends are pretty even so now when you tighten this to your neck it, this part isn't really going to move much it's pretty much going to stay wherever it is right now so make sure that it's as loose or as fitted as you would like this part to be so to begin with you're going to take one side and make a bow make mine a little bit smaller and then take the other side and wrap it around and then in that hole that's right there pull it on through. So the reason that I like to do it this way versus the traditional kind of bunny ear style is sometimes the it can end up, I don't know if y'all realize where like one of these is at the top and this part's at the bottom, but when you do it this way, both of these are at the top and these are both at the bottom. So then you can pretty much make the this part of the bow as big to as little as you would prefer it to be made. And then from here, I've said in the first video and I will say it in this video, always go back and fluff everything out so it looks really, really good and professional and presentable so I just like to take this part and fluff it just fluffy as I would like it and then take these and tighten it and make sure that the ends are really really even and then there you go here is your bow tie so this is a really really cute kind of easy way to tie your scarf and I will admit it does stay pretty well tied throughout your trip so this is actually a really cute and functional way to tie your scarf okay so for this next way I'm going to be teaching you how to do a flower or a rose whichever you prefer to call it so for this way I am going to actually do the more crisp way around the neck to do it so I'll fold it over one time and then fold it over two times so it gives that nice little double fold. So for this, you'll take this end and go around your neck and then pull your hair out and it goes again above the collar. So on this way, you're going to want to try and keep it as together as possible and make sure that the ends are again pretty even. So you're going to take it around and tie it again, keeping the sides even. And I like to kind of go back and just make sure that this is really sitting crisp. So once you're here, you're going to wrap these around themselves, just going back and forth, wrapping them fairly tight. And then I like to leave about three to four inches left on the sides. So once you're right here, you're going to kind of wrap it around itself. So you'll bring it around right here and then once you're here and these are down towards the bottom you'll kind of just push it on through so it sits just like that now you can either keep these or you can also tuck them in as well it's completely up to you sometimes they are a little bit longer so then I think it's cute but when they're that short go ahead and just tuck them in and then it sits really pretty on the side of your neck 
Now this one, for the most part, if you've done it correctly, it should stay while you're working. Every now and again, sometimes some stuff can fall out, but usually this one's a pretty sturdy. Okay, so now for the fan. So for this one, I just gonna go ahead and do it just like this and throw it over the neck again above the collar. So you're going to want to take one end and tie a small knot down at the bottom, just like that. So then you're going to want to take this side and put it through the knot and then once it's through just bring it all the way up to your neck okay so I like mine kind of fitted here okay so now for the long end you're going to take it and kind of accordion style fold it, which means you take it and start folding it one way and then flip it over and fold it the next. Then back to this way and then back to this way. Back to this way and back to this way. So that's just like accordion style folding it. Now, if you are super impatient, you can kind of just bunch it up to the top. And also if you are struggling with the accordion fold, I will admit if you have a table, it's much, much easier, but I'm working with what I got so here we go okay so now we're up to the top so you're going to take the little end and go over the front of it and then find that knot you tied and tuck it into the knot as well so let's find it and tuck it there we go and this one just sits like a really, really pretty fan. So now when I first saw this one, I saw it on another flight attendant and I fell in love. I was like, girl, how did you do that? You need to teach me. And she just made it sound like it was a breeze. And to be quite honest, for me, it was not a breeze. It was much harder. So if this one takes you some time, don't feel bad, it took me some time. And if you get it right off the bat, I'm just an idiot, so <laughs> no worries. But I will admit this one looks so, so pretty in the uniform. Okay, so now for this fourth look, we're gonna be doing kind of like an ascot look. Now I will say this looks much, much better with the shirt and the pants or the shirt and the skirt versus with the dress. And I mean, you do you if you wanna wear it with the dress, but I, I really definitely think it looks better with the shirt. So to begin, we're just gonna fluff it on out and then drape it over the back of your neck and pull, pull your hair out, pull if I can speak, and go over the collar. So on this one, you are going to want to have a longer end. It doesn't need to be like that much longer, but you do need a longer end. So you're going to take this longer end and go over the front and then through the back, just like that, and then go over the front again and then you would go up through that collar right there and pull it up and just like this and then you would fluff it out. Now, I will say when you are working and moving around, this is actually pretty loose. So I don't think it tends to stay really well like this to be honest and I've watched videos of better ways to tie it and I agree when you are working, this is not the most functional. So in my opinion, this little hole from where we looped it over twice, if I can find it, there we go, right here, you're going to take the piece that was over top like that and you're going to tuck it in there and kind of make a knot. So there's your knot, just like that. Now this will actually keep things more in place. So you're going to take, now they're pretty even actually, so you're going to take the one that's in the back that I guess was the shorter end and go up through the neck and over. And tighten that close to my neck. And then go over and fluff it out. And then you would take both ends and go through the shirt like that and fluff it. So it has a really, really pretty ascot look to it, 
But again, this one looks so much better when you are in the shirt versus in the dress. And of course, everything's a little bit puffy for me. But we are going to move on to look number five. Okay, so for this last way, it is called the pretzel. So you're going to take your scarf and then have your hand through it and then fold it in half and place it over the back of your neck. So once it's here in that hole, you're going to take one side and put it through. Then from here, you're going to twist it. So twist and then take the other side and put it through. And so this is called the pretzel. And then you'll take your collar and pop it out. And then again, go through and fluff it out. But I also think that this way is a great one if you do want to pop the collar up. I think that's actually really stylish and really cute. But I hope that you did enjoy all of these five ways to tie your fly tennis scarf in some new and exciting ways. And if you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I post a ton of content, especially travel content and fly tennis stuff like tips, tricks, and travel secrets. Thank you so much and I hope you'll have a great one. Bye.